verdict with Judge Hatchett. Emily Jacobs is suing Henry Barman in the amount of $970. Ms. Jacobs claims she made a donation to Mr. Barman's church, but he didn't use it for renovations like he said he would. Mr. Barman claims he used the money to start the permit procedures, and the renovations will follow in time. Ms. Jacobs. Yes, Your Honor. So you are suing Father Barman for $970, and I've read your complaint that you filed with the court, and basically what you're saying is that you gave this money expecting it to be spent on renovations of the church. So tell me what happened. That's correct, Your Honor. So I started attending St. George about over three years ago. And when I first started going to this church, I really loved the sense of community. I loved the other members. And there was a lot of volunteer opportunities at this church, which I was really involved with. And I also loved hearing Father Barman's sermons. And there was an opportunity that Father presented to us, which was this annual fish fry that we were going to raise money for church renovations and i have the flyer with me here so was there an annual church uh, fish fry uh yes your honor all right and so what happened after a few months of not seeing any construction workers any contractors he said the landscaping would be one of the first things we would work on none of that got resolved and when i went to his office i noticed that there was brand new furniture, a brand new flat screen TV, and a brand new computer, and that was a red flag to me. Coming up. Yes, so did the Archbishop... ...with Judge Hatchett. The verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Emily Jacobs, who is suing Henry Barman for fraud. All right, Father Barman, what's going on here? What happened to the money that was raised at the annual fish fry? Yeah, so, well, we had city, city approvals and permits, and the, the permits were approved immediately for the rectory, whereas for the church, there's, there's a lot of red tape that goes through that. I have to go through the bishop and the archdiocese to get, get those approved. So wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me that to get a permit with the city to do renovations on the sanctuary, the church itself, that the bishop and the archbishop have to be involved to be able to get a permit? Yes, Your Honor, I have evidence here um, for the arch archdiocese, the protocols we have to follow to get a church renovation. All right, so why didn't you get that approved before you started raising money? Uh, well, it, it's all time constraints and takes time and uh, and also to be sure to have the money before we get so the So did the archbishop and the bishop have to approve the renovations to where you live? No, Your Honor, that's, that's a residence. But it's a residence that's owned by the church. Correct, Your Honor. It's, it's part of the church, and its funding is part of our church. You see the dilemma I'm having with this. Judge Hatchett's verdict when we return. Judge Hatchett. So you go and you confront Father, and what does he say to you about it? He tells me, you know, I need to have faith, keep in good faith that the renovations are taking time and they're working on them, and he assures me in a few months that they'll be done, but he didn't show me any contracts or anything saying specifically that he had plans or a specific timeline, you know, saying, oh, we're going to work on the floor first, then this, then the ceiling, you know. I'm doing the best I can. I'm running a whole parish, a couple hundred people. My schedule is, is booked uh, weekly. Well, it changes. Let me suggest and, this. Uh, Do you have a finance committee? You need to get one. Because once you lose the faith and trust of the people that you say you're leading, you've got a real, 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 real problem. And for me to come into your office and see this plasma TV while we need some new pews and we need some new carpeting and we need all these other things in the sanctuary, and I'm thinking my check was written out for those things, creates a question of trust. Yeah, and I, I understand it. It looks that way, but, but truthfully, that's not really what's, what's well, happening. Let me tell you. So. Ms. Jacobs, as much as I would like to give you the $970 back, that's a matter you're going to take up with 
the internal committees at that church. For that reason, I am denying your claim of $970, but Father Barman, you know, if you don't know about finances, get somebody in the church to chair a committee because you are going down a slippery slope that's not going to get better. All right, judgment for the plan denied, so ordered. All rise. Judge Hatchett has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. Emily, I promise the church renovations will be finished soon and will be more transparent with the church funds in the future. I really hope so, Father, because I want to see our church improve. 